We have different regional economies in Michigan. That uh, The UP is never going to be the same as Southeast Michigan. The Traverse City is never going to be the same as the Midland area. So building on the regional assets and, 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 and getting people to understand their interrelationship on an economic unit at the regional level is key. Is key. And to be successful, we've simply got to build better places. We've got to build those places that those young people, those young entrepreneurs want to live. Uh, the simple truth is that, you know, with 40% of our college graduates leaving Michigan, with us ranking 47th out of the 50 states and attracting young educated people, that is not a recipe for success. We've got to build the places that can be attractive to those young people. I think, I think the grand, whole Grand Vision process is a model for the rest of the state. You've, you've engaged people in conversations, you've engaged people in discussions about their very future, which is important. People need to be engaged in defining where they want to go as a region. And I think the beauty of the Grand uh, Vision process is, is that it has done so in such a way that the tough work, the tough work still remains. And that is getting all the local units of government up here to, to, to buy into the vision. And that's going to take some time. But, but I wish you all the, the, the best of success because what you're doing up here is a model for a lot of Michigan. We've got to get out of the mindset in Michigan that, look, I, uh, we, we can make economic decisions, we can make big, big decisions on a six mile by six mile square basis. You used to be able to do that back when we were an agricultural economy. We're not that anymore. And we've got to recognize that we're all part of a bigger whole. And how we fit into that whole and how we fit into that, that, uh, that, that bigger vision for where our region uh, needs to go is, is one thing that, that, that local leaders are going to have to learn how to do a little better than they have in the past. Uh, some of them get it. Some of them are, 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 uh, don't quite get it yet. But that's where the future is, and that's where they're going to have to go. And, and, and hopefully uh, this whole grand vision process, as it continues down the road, will enable to get that buy-in. It's about building businesses from within, one and two and three employees at a time. It's, it's taking talent, it's taking bright people, it's taking people with entrepreneurial skills and letting them build new businesses in Michigan. Uh, you know, I put it this way, somewhere in America today there's a kid with, in his head who's got the next billion dollar industry. We don't know what that is, and, and government has not done a very good job of picking what that next industry is going to be. But we want that kid to live here. We want that kid to be here in Michigan and build that business here in Michigan. So it's all about gardening and talent and getting those young entrepreneurs here in Michigan to build the businesses for the future. Place making is key. To attract those people, we've got to have the places that they want to live because uh, you know, that young generation is making decisions on where they want to live first and then what they're going to do with their lives as far as working is concerned later. So we've got to get them here.